Only about a week away from the official start of fall. We had like a sneak peek of some fall like temperatures this week, but uh, just a pretty much warm week overall. Let's go on over to Robert, sir. What are we uh, looking like as we start the work week? Well, we're looking sunny still with a little bit of an increase in humidity, uh, but I can tell you I'm ready for fall. We're all ready for fall, I think, after this summer of uh, the oppressive heat and humidity. But summer's not over yet. We still got another nine days to go, as you can see there. We'll take you outside to Fayetteville right now, or the uh, square there all lit up. A nice quiet day out there in Fayetteville. And temperatures were pretty close to average. It got up to 88 degrees, a few degrees above that average of 83. Overnight lows right around where they should be. Look at that chilly, a record low, 41. Ooh, would that feel nice? Fort Smith, a little bit breezy still out there at this hour. You were two degrees above your average of uh, 88 degrees, uh, climbing up to 90 yet again. Now, here's what we're looking for this week. Sunny and breezy to open the week. We'll start to see that humidity slowly creeping back. I'll show you why here in a second. And then we're watching the tropics for potential impact from Tropical Storm Nicholas. That uh, humidity will be increasing because of Nicholas pushing all of that uh, moisture in the air toward our area. We're nice and dry with all these yellows and browns here. Nice corridor of dry air, but that more humid air is working its way. It's about to Texarkana now. It's coming. You'll notice it a little bit tomorrow. It won't be horribly oppressive, but you'll notice a little bit more moisture in the atmosphere. Temperatures right now, we're in the upper 60s and lower 70s. A handful of degrees cooler than we were at this point yesterday. We'll take you hour by hour tonight. Pretty quiet. A couple of high clouds out there waking up tomorrow morning. We're mostly in the 70s. As that water vapor increases, it could touch off one or two afternoon or evening showers. I think mostly along and south of I-40. Everybody else should remain dry and then waking up Tuesday morning. Things also nice and quiet. Now we turn our attention to Tropical Storm Nicholas. Really not moving much here in the Bay of Campeche, kind of loitering around right off the coast, uh, the eastern coast of Mexico. Latest advisory, still a very weak tropical storm with 40 mile an hour winds. You can see really not moving, just two miles an hour. It is expected to hug the Texas coast and then move inland. And this is this track has moved a lot over the past day. It will probably continue to be fine tuned because the computer models are all over the place for where it goes. Some of them actually have the storm moving backwards towards our area, which I'll get into here a little bit later in the show. Lows tonight mostly in the mid to upper 60s. We'll rebound tomorrow, upper 80s and lower 90s. We will most likely be making changes to this extended forecast that you see here based on exactly what Nicholas does once we get a better handle on the storm. Again, it's still very ragged and not very organized right now, and that's one of the reasons why the models are having such a hard time for it. But if it does impact our area, uh, heavy rain would be the main threat, which is what we need for this area. But r besides that, lots of sunshine this week and temperatures right around average. Stay with us. Jordan Black is back with your sports update right after the break.